Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play We Happy Few. I'm here with Spring at Dawn, and off camera, I did some exploring, and Sally does have side quests. I found them. Also, um, this must be a memory right here. I, uh, I reloaded when I saw it. I accidentally activated it when I was trying to pick up sovereigns out of the fountain. They came back, at least. Um, I didn't, again, I didn't watch it. I skipped it and then I reloaded the game so that I could, uh, you know, put it in the recording. But it didn't respawn. So, we're, I guess we're both gonna miss out on, on this memory. It's called Beastly. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why I didn't come back when I reloaded. But that sucks, because now no one gets to watch it. Uh, but yeah, this guy was calling our name. Benedict Keys. Oops, I wanted to go here. Oh, I also found some notes. Uh, I think I've read them all before. Yeah, done. Seen that one? And I know we've seen this one. These two are new. These were on the work, work tables behind... Uh, this is like right across the street. Yeah, Nick's behind Nick behind Nick Lightbearer's house. Also, I'm wondering if her story takes place before Arthur's because um, Faraday's workshop is still in the city. You can't go inside; everything's shuttered off. Same with like Colonel Lawrence's house and um, Miss Mrs. Cheney's home. Anyway, we're gonna do goodbye to all that. Oh, it's Benedict Keys. Last time we did business, it was a bit. Awkward. Is he the one that we knocked out? Look, if you're still mad about that incident with the, um, tea cozy. Oh, no. I need your assistance. It's sort of private. I've heard there's a fake pill that makes you look like you've had joy. Silly rumors. I sort of need one. Why would you want to go off your joy? It's for Beatrice. Well, it's sort of for me. You're going to slip it to her? It's just... If you're tired of her, break things off like a man. No, I love her. It's just... Well, ever since we started seeing each other, she says she loves me. But she loves everything. Me, long walks, sunsets and rainbows, of course. Simon says, big wristwatches on a man. Wrapping paper, dandelions, a good night's sleep, ribbons, Uncle Jack's bedtime stories, six o'clock, <laughs> commemorative spoons. I have to know if it's real. She'd be a downer, even if it's temporary. The moment she tells me the truth, I'll give her a real joy. Promise. Are you sure you want the truth? You used to be very interested in my mojo recipe. A dab a day keeps the doctors away, remember? Yes. I remember. That would be handy. Alright. Give sunshine to Benedict. Can I just give it to him? There you go. Alright. The recipe? I'll give it to you tomorrow, after I see Beatrice. Okay. There is a bench right His here. His heels are killing me. And guess what? We're gonna wait. Is it possible to wait? What is that guy doing? These heels are ridiculous, really. You can't wait on a bench for 24 hours. Alright. Oh my goodness, that guy is freaking out. Okay, so what we're gonna do is go over here and deal with the next side quest. Alterations. It's actually at the corner pub or the wicker man. Which I believe is where we left Edmund in the previous uh, in Arthur's story, right? Was it the wicker man? I know the corner pub is where we left him, but I don't know if it was called the wicker man or not. We're going the right yeah, we're the right way. Going the right way. You can take your joy immediately. Mrs. Penker says a shop. How long has she had a shop? 
Stitch I time. shouldn't be surprised. Oh, stitch in time. That woman could sew a wedding suit for an octopus. Ooh, alterations. Alright, before I go in there, I want to go check out the uh, the corner pub. What's that feel like? Is Edmund going to be in here? They said he was a regular, right? Ooh, that's going to be handy. Well, I learned a new patty cake routine. Do you want to try it? Jane Robothone. Thought I'd pop in to see what's new. I have no money. Holy crap. You're looking fine today. Hello, Miss Boyle. Usual. Oh, it's been too long. Did you hear? Mrs. Sapper found a bomb in her garden. <laughs> Lucky it didn't blow her up. All right, we're going to go upstairs. Uh, let me drink some something. Um... Yeah, this will do. Okay. I have scotch. You see through there. It's like a life preserver. All the way on the top floor. Hello. Oh, she's itty bitty. Hello. Mrs. Pankhurst. How have you been? Couldn't be better. I was having dizzy spells, but they've gone away. Isn't that wonderful when things just sort of cure themselves? I've been meaning to go visit the Reform Club, but my old outfit. Oh, I seem to have filled out a bit since then, if you can believe that. Oh, remember when I made you that lovely nurse's uniform for the reform club? You know, I've always wanted to visit there. Wanda's such a good friend of mine, but she never tells me what goes on there. I imagine they drink tea and discuss how to reform government and things like that. <laughs> sort of. Not exactly. Could you wangle me an invitation? I keep asking my friend Wanda, and she always promises, but somehow it's always next week. I ought to be able to manage that. If you could get me an invitation, I'd be ever so thrilled. We could go together. <laughs> I'll come by when you've got one. Your new outfit should be done by then. Okay. Um... I wish I'd learned to sew. Well, I don't wish it. I'd probably have become a seamstress like Mum. I feel like I'm missing something here. Why was that other door shuttered off? Well, I can climb in there. Oh well, let's um. Take an invitation to the reform club. Where's that at? Oh, right down the road. Well, hot dog. I went past that earlier. I didn't see the reform club there. Oh, well. Let's help out Mrs. Pankhurst. Name Bert Whistle? Oh, what a poor woman. Do you want to check out this guy real quick? See if he has any side quests as Morning. well. Have you got my bird feeder? Ah, uh, no. Not quite. That's why I have to wait a little bit longer. Oh, is it in here? Do I have to barter with him? What's your pleasure, then? Got anything yummy in you? Uh, 50... How do I sell stuff? Um, what's worth? Oh, these are worth six. I need to make 50. That shouldn't be too difficult, right? Surprise whiskey isn't worth a little more. In all honesty, bread is worth a decent amount. Really looking forward to selling that, but 
Scotch is worth a good amount as well. There we go. I hope you're very happy with that. Please easy, come easy. again. I thought I was actually to go to the Reform Club, but I think that's in uh that's in Maidenholm, isn't it? Yeah, St. George's Home was the second place we went to, and that had, uh... Actually, our version was a lot bigger. This leads to the Prairie District Maidenholm, and this leads to, uh, Dr. Verloc's laboratory. Hmm. In intriguing. Alright, back up we go. Yeah, Scotch leads to this guy's door. I'm wondering if it had has anything to do with him. Oh well. We'll deal with it later. I got you an invitation. How'd she grab that? Are you sure you really want to go to the reform club together? I'm not sure that nurse's uniform still fits. Of a night owl, anyway. I just hate being excluded, you know. Sounds so faint. Oh, I made your outfit for you. It's ever so slimming. I think you'll look wonderful in it. Oh, you always look wonderful. You're such a dear. What would I do without you? Come by any time you need something new to wear. It's such a joy making clothes for you. You always make me look so good. All right, let's barter. She got Let's for spend me. my money, shall we? Reinforced padded suit, chic padded suit, proper suit. Uh, does not upset decent. All right, so this does not upset decent people. Oh, no one. If I just wear that around town, well, that'd be pretty nice. I like to think. I see much sneakier upsets people if they spy you sneaking though. Okay. Ooh. Run faster. Run faster and longer. Uh, run faster and longer and suffer less damage from falling. I think those would be worth buying. Hmm. Hmm. Not quite. There you are. Might have to take some time to make some money here and uh, purchase some of these things. Can I just jump out the window? I don't think that seems like a good idea. Alright, because I can see in there, and usually if there's metal shutters and you can see inside, you can get inside somehow. So I wonder... the stairs window. There's a ledge right there. Do you think she picked that fight on purpose? So I wouldn't eat the soup. There's a ledge right there. I wonder if there's a way for me to get up there. Yes, now's not the time to worry about it. Uh, let's get to the hatch and I will rest for 24 hours and then go back and meet with his face. I grab those when I can. Because again, I get double the value out of it playing a Sally. Which is pretty nice. Not a lie, overall I'm not a big fan of waiting, like going and waiting. I'm good and probably just wait a few days for uh, the bird feeder, right? Straight, straight? Yeah, straight, straight. If 
I know I'm neglecting the child, but I don't have the means to feed her anyway, so I'm just not going to. I don't have any more milk. I have gone and I've tried fiddling with her, but there's nothing, nothing I can do for her. Um, I'm actually going to put all the moldy food in here as well. Because I don't need that. I don't need, I don't need that in my life. I don't need that anywhere. I got the rubber cat suit. don't know if I'm going to need that. Uh, yep, 24 hours at least. Well, hold on. How long until our bird feed is ready? Three days. Can I sleep for 72 hours? Probably not. Nope, it resets. Alright, yep. 24 hours it is. Alright, we'll eat. We'll go talk to Benedict. Right. Um, yeah, let's just eat a pie. Up we go. Talk to Benedict and see how it went. Where is it at? Goodbye to all that. Like, did I get any skill points for that other quest? I don't think I really did. You will take your joy immediately. Yeah, stop yelling at me. I'm surprised that machine doesn't alert. Like the bobbies and everything. I feel like it should. Oh, shoot. Yep. Take a right. Poor Johnny Bolton. I think he even guessed my secret. He could have helped, but he couldn't even help himself. Who's Johnny Bolton? Why did she say that? Is it this guy? Actually, she can, I think she can make medicated bomb right off the bat, so medicated healing bomb. Or just medicated bomb, that's what it's called, I think. Sorry, that's not the most exciting episode. I'm annoyed that I didn't get to see that memory. So I'll reload so everybody can watch it, and you can't get in there either, it's uh it's shut it off. Not a big fan of all that, always crying. Did you give her her joy? She never loved me. She went blubbering on about some childhood sweetheart who left on a train. Apparently, he made quite the impression. Did you give her her joy? I almost didn't. I thought Trollope deserves to be in the garden district. She only stayed with me. To avoid the unpleasantness of breaking it off. You haven't taken your own joy, have you? Joy doesn't help. You never really forget, do you? It just makes things fuzzy around the edges, you know? So you can pretend. I want to forget her forever. I'm not sure Oblivion exists. Please. You want my mojo recipe, don't you? Forgetting could be... dangerous. It's not like joy. There'll be holes in your memory, like a church made out of cheese and the whole congregation is mice. You might forget more than you want to. I don't care. It's fair trade. Your future for my past. <laughs> uh, do I have it? Sure, there yeah. you go. Here's the recipe for oblivion. I tell you not to tell anyone where you got it, but there's very little danger of that. <laughs> Goodbye, Benedict. Okay, uh, I didn't realize I had the recipe on hand for, uh, wow, that's a lot of skill points. Here we go, now I can run. That's what I want. 
And I also want... This might be nice too. Carry more weight would also be good, so let's start heading down that path. I mean, the next quest I finish, I should have enough for Night Stalker anyway, right off the bat. Um, Herbalist might be good too. I don't know. There's, there's several good perks. It's hard to. Oh, cool. Alright, well, I guess we can head back to, um... Maiden home, right? I uh, don't really want to go past the, uh... The handmaiden, but I can run now, so maybe... Maybe I'll be alright. As long as I can sprint past her on each side, right? She won't get mad at me. So if I like You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. I'll run over here. Right, and then it resets, and then I can run this. You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. Easy peasy. Just like that. I feel like this is a place I'm gonna to get to go. I would have to buy it now? Oh boy. Well, I'm glad that updated. Let's go check that out. Let's see. Son of a gun, man. I'm probably not gonna have enough money. I'm gonna. I don't know what I can sell. A little bit of everything, I guess. Or I can go craft some stuff and then sell it. This is like too much work, though. Watch your fancy. Have you got my bird feeder? Yeah! Yes! Yes, I have! Oddest looking bird feeder I've ever seen! Do I have to. So I do have to buy this little gun. What can I do for you today? Maybe 400 pounds? Are you kidding me? Do people still buy these? Alright, well, I'm gonna have to... I can't forget about it. I have the quest in my inventory. So, uh, let's head to... Uh... Oh, I'll probably make money from making the Blackberry, won't I? People will come and buy it from me. So let's head back to the hatch, head to Maiden Home, and start looking for the chemist. Everything's gonna work out. I'm sure. I'm sure everything will work out. I can just sell my every belonging in hopes that I can get the money I need. This is even hard for Arthur to come across. I mean, granted, I didn't do a lot of selling and do a lot of trading back and forth. Mostly just buying. Yeah, Arthur didn't make that much money in his uh his. Hello, the yellow brick road. Story. Sovereigns are pretty pretty rare. the smelly darkness into... Yeah, that's about a point. Well, not that much better. Do I? For one skill. Oh. Well, screw it, yeah. I would love to be able to quietly smother people in their beds. Oh, that's right. This is going to be a little tricky. Not so bad. There we go. Alright. Uh, chemist should be... Over here. Let's just call it home cooking. Oh. I guess, uh... We start with him. Hey, you're not... Well, if it isn't Sally Boyle... Himself is upstairs tinkering. When will he be? It's been weeks now. It's a device you left behind. Apparently, it's quite clever and complex. I just came to buy some chemicals. Over my cold, dead body. Fiona, All right. It's not just borrowing my man while you were here. I could have got over that. It's the ambitions you put into him. Fiona, I'm sorry. He wants to be more than a village chemist. How's that, I says? Will you go to London to study to be a doctor? Will you take over Hayworth Labs? She still wouldn't take you back, I says. 
but you sold him the stars. And now he can't barely see where he's going. Maybe he liked me because I thought he could be more. Do you ever think of that? Get out of here. Get out, you witch. And don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. Well, she's mellowed. Fiona said Stuart's been working on my old pituitary extractor. Maybe... Maybe I can get it back from him later, when she's not in the shop. Wait. Harry Cavendish. He still works for the labs, doesn't he? And he owes me a favour. I'll drop by his house. Visit Harry Cavendish. Oh, it's right around the corner. Well, how convenient. And that pituitary extractor is what we used in Arthur's story to, uh... Well, to extract their... their essence. Um, and give it to the chemist. How fun. Harry? It's Sally! Uh, Sally Boyle! Just a moment. Just a moment, damn it. I can't get to the door as fast as I used to. Sally Boyle. Well, I haven't seen you in a dog's age. What... What happened to your... eyes? Oh, this little thing. A doctor used miscalculated the brominating reaction and it blew up in my face. Then he convinced Dr. Verloc it was my fault. So I got the sack. That weasel. Oh, you don't have to pretend you're interested in the tedious old lab. How's the glamorous life of an experimental chemist? It's a bit blocked at the moment. Can't get mercury amalgam. Did you know they vent gallons of it onto rat home? Oh, well, you wouldn't. You've moved on to greener pastures. I'm sorry. I thought Anton knew what he was doing. Oh, I don't blame you for leaving us all behind. When love fades, you have to move on. Well, I'm sure you'll figure out where to find some amalgam. Maybe I will. But someone's got to prove it was Dr. Hughes's fault you lost your eyes. You know, you're right. He could hurt someone else. Is there... any evidence that it was his fault? You know, now that you mention it, his lab notes. He keeps them in his doctor bag. I bet they're all the evidence I need. Oh, you know what? I bet they'd also tell me how to extract the amalgam you need out of the stuff the lab is piping onto rat home. I'll get you his lab notes. Here's where he lives. Come back, and I'll tell you where to find the pump outlet. Don't go anywhere. Wouldn't dream of it. Yeah, so it really seems like this quest is setting up for a lot of other quests. Thought that's going to come like right around the corner here and find it. Nope. Such is not my luck. Is it uh? Is this updated? No, I haven't found any of the ingredients yet. Oh yeah, in rat hole, so I'll be heading there. Yep, still not going in there. She's not a fan. Uh, is it this house? No, it's the House of Doctors. Okay. Uh, that, okay. I'm glad I'm heading back there. Oh boy. That's oh, so I can run. What am I doing? I can I can run. Uh, let's see if we can steal this bag and then we can call it an episode. I want to check out this uh, Mississippi Park real quick. Let's see if maybe there's another memory there. Yeah, it seems like everything's sort of falling into place now. So that, that's that's nice. Oh, that's right, because it's where the uh, the cat statue is for. What do those people have? Um... Oh! I didn't know you could do this. I saw one of the NPCs use it at the, uh, in Arthur's. Oh, look at that. Can you actually do anything here? Hmm. Interesting. Anything up here? Nope. Alright. Let's see if we steal that doctor's bag and then we'll call it an episode, right? That sounds good. 
and I'll look for side quests in this area in the next episode. Or, for the next episode. Off camera, I think. Wow. You can't say Dr. Hughes doesn't have a keen sense of style. It's called crap. Oh. Uh... Of course it did. Um... I don't know how much exploring I'm going to do in here. It might just be uh, a quick run in, and grab it, and get out. Because again, episode's going to be ending shortly. We got a lockpick though. He's standing right there. All right. Well, so far this is going exceedingly well. What's another story up? All right, well, there's a guy right there. That's no good. Ooh, bleach. You know, actually, I don't know how useful it's going to be. I just know I don't see it very often. So I assume that it's valuable. Let's chill right here for a second. Ooh, power cell. Thought you were invisible, did you? Barco? Stiff upper lip. Well, neat. Alright, I see him standing there. He's guarding the stairs. Son of a gun. Alright, um... to do here. Uh What's that? You don't belong What's here, that? do you? I think I see the Oh my gosh, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Good lord, we've got a down here. <laughs> Get out of the way. I'm on a mission. For the back. Harry wanted. Come on up the stairs, guys. I'm gonna jump off the side when you come up here. Oh my goodness, that's gonna crap out of me. I thought I had the, uh, I shut the door and he just like barreled through it. See you later, nerds. Sturdy bag. I wonder if Gwen would fit in here. She'd need to be able to breathe, some source of oxygen, and soundproofing in case she starts crying. I bet Lionel could make something like that. I'm going to wait for her to calm down so like, I don't aggro all everybody out there. Alright. Everything's kosher. Alright, let's go and give this to uh, Harry, and then we'll call an episode. I think that'll... That'll be good. Well, I'm assuming that uh, our friend here, Sally Boyle, is going to escape the island and she's going to carry the baby inside of the doctor's bag in order to do it. Really relied on Lionel oh, for a lot of stuff. No. Giles left on holiday. No, here we go. Really? Harry? It's Sally. Uh, Sally Boyle. Just a moment. Just a moment, damn it. I can't get to the door as fast as I used to. Did you get Dr. Hughes's bag? I've got it. Aren't you Brillo? Well, here's the formula you'll need. You can get to Rathome via the maintenance tunnels. 
There's a code at the door. It's 1649. I really am sorry about the accident. I thought Anton had a handle on things. Well, now we know. Cheerio. I'll need a few things before I go. I can get there from any hatch now that I've got the code. Let's see, I want this. Alright, and we're gonna call it here. And in the next episode, we'll, um. Figure out which quest we're gonna do next. Actually, wait, we got a note, didn't we? Oh, it's just the right home access code. Not a big deal. Uh, do I have a drink? Probably not. Scotch. That'll fix me up. Alright, and yeah, we're gonna call it here. And in the next episode, we'll, uh. We'll figure out what we're gonna do next. Probably off camera. And then, then we'll continue doing stuff on camera. Anyway, uh, hope to see y'all in the next episode.